Hello and welcome to Mystic Mia Tarot. This is a reading for the Capricorn Collective. It is a timeless reading whenever you come to it. It is the perfect time for you to hear the messages entailed. Uh, the artwork in the frame is original. It is a green-headed tanager, uh, the bird that is. And if interested, see info in the description box. I've already pre-shuffled a couple of decks and laid out a Celtic cross. If this reading resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And it is New Year's Eve today. And so happy New Year. I think that 2024 holds very many magical things to come for you, Capricorn. Um, we are going to look at your current relationship discord. That is the aim of this reading. If you come to tarot, it is due to some sort of discord in your romantic life. And um, so the card we're going to start with is a card that represents the person on your mind. And it will also set the tone for our reading today. The card that I pulled is the card of the Hierophant, which is a Taurus. You may be dealing with a Taurus or someone with Taurus in their moon, rising, or Venus placement. And so uh, this card represents uh, tradition. It represents religious doctrine. It's often associated with commitment. So maybe this relationship uh, that we're talking about is being evaluated to uh, take it to the next level, so to speak. If the connection has not yet begun, you could be considering this person as an option. If you're already established, you could be considering taking things to the next level. If you are separated from this person, maybe you are considering, um, you know, whether or not to return to this and commit to one another. So please just uh, take it how it resonates. Anyway, that is the Gentle Thrills Tarot deck. It is a very cool tarot deck. I highly recommend. So we're going to start with your Celtic cross at this point. And in your current position, you do have the Eight of Wands. This Eight of Wands has been coming out a lot lately in readings, I've noticed. And um, this card has uh, traditionally been sort of like the arrows of love. So uh, perhaps there is um, action in your romantic life right now. There's incoming messages um, and the person on your mind is taking action towards you and it could be swift and it could generate change. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, you're being crossed by the Four of Cups reversed. So you may be feeling um, a little apathetic or um, indifferent perhaps to this person's advances because this is the card of a missed opportunity. So maybe you are, you're not so sure about this person. They're holding out their cup to you and you're not necessarily taking it and it could turn into a missed opportunity so just be aware of that Capricorn could be dealing with a cancer in the crowning position you have the four of swords reversed so maybe um, you've been in a period of contemplation and rest and you're ready to come out of it um, I hope it doesn't take you too long to come out of rest because as I said, 
you could be missing an opportunity and just be aware of that. Um, you could feel like there's a lack of progress in this relationship situation. Uh, you may feel a bit restless um, or your person might um, in their waiting for you to be you know, open to them. Maybe, maybe dealing with a Libra. In the distant past, you have the Nine of Cups. So uh, perhaps in the past, you were happily single uh, on your own. You had all your uh, cups around you and uh, all your wishes were fulfilled, um, but you were single. And um, sometimes it's hard to come out of that single mentality. Um, again, the tone of this reading is commitment and taking things to the next level. So sometimes it's difficult to release the freedom of being a single person. In the recent past, you have the Six of Wands reversed. So this card upright is a card of victory. So perhaps there was some sort of failure um, in your recent past or a fall from grace. Maybe you fell from the uh, prominent position in your person's mind, for perhaps because of your indecision um, about them. Uh, maybe you had a lack of confidence in this connection um, and there could have been a bit of ego at play. Could be dealing with a Leo. So far, we do have a, a pretty good split between wand and cups. We have, let's see, 14 wands and 14 cups. So, oh, 13 cups, sorry. Um, so, yes, yeah, so there's like an equal amount of love and passion in this connection and a, a, a smattering of swords, which can indicate thoughts. Um, so, uh, that's just something to keep in mind. In the future position, you have the world reverse. So... If you are in um, a period of separation with your person, this could indicate um, a return of sorts, a repeat of a cycle. And uh, so maybe you are going to revisit this. And if, um, if you're already established in the connection, you're going to um, perhaps just stay in place as a part opposed to uh, taking it to the next level. Maybe you're just going to repeat the current cycle. And if you haven't started with someone, um, perhaps you are going to put it off a little bit longer. Maybe you're savoring your singlehood and you just want to stay single for a little while longer, Capricorn. In your environment, you have the King of Pentacles. And um, so this could represent you. This is an Earth sign card. Um, it's late Leo, early Virgo. And um, this could represent you or your person, but um, this is the ideal spouse, someone who is in control of their life, is responsible, um, has their stuff together, is disciplined, and has acquired abundance. So this is the ideal person, and this is who's in your environment. And um, as I said, it could be you, it could be the person on your mind, but in either case, it is the ideal spouse. 
how your person is seeing you is the Ten of Swords in reverse. So they may be fearing an inev inevitable ending with you. Um, this card, because it's reversed, it can sometimes uh, indicate a recovery. The, the swords are able to fall out of the back. So recovery from a betrayal. Maybe they see you as somebody like the Nine of Wands, like the Wounded Warrior. They, they see that you've been injured um, and that you're recovering and you are... Um, you know, what's the word? Resilient. Um, conversely, though, it could it could feel like to them, you know, if you're unwilling to commit, um, it would be the inevitable ending. Could be dealing with a Gemini. In the uh, hopes or fear position, you have the Nine of Swords reverse so you know earlier i had talked about the cups and the wands and now all the swords are coming in okay all the thoughts and actually they're dominating the reading now we have um 23 swords which is the most um of any element we have and um, so this card can represent sleepless nights in torment. Maybe you're tormented by this Capricorn. Maybe you're not so sure what you wanna do. Do you wanna commit or not? It could be keeping you up at night. Could be dealing with a Gemini again. In your outcome, you have the tower. So, tower moments in life can be um, really difficult, really, really difficult, but they often lead to um, miraculous breakthroughs. My son just woke up. So... Perhaps um, it will take a tower for you to make this choice about this person. Um, and it will be uh, an upheaval and it will be an, a sudden change. Um, but again, towers are curses um, or blessings disguised as curses often. So that's something to keep in mind. We're going to clarify a little bit more. Be right back. I'm going to use my Salvador Dali deck to clarify. And we're just going to get the energy of the person on your mind towards you, your energy toward them, and then the outcome of this energetic cycle. The Tower card some readers um, associate with the signs of Aries or Scorpio. You could be dealing with one of those. Of course, you could be dealing with any sign, Capricorn. And happy birthday. It is, it is your birthday month. Um, so happy birthday. I hope you're enjoying your time and celebrating and pampering yourself.
and um, okay. I do read reversals. Getting a lot of reversals in this outcome. If I get all reversals, I'm just going to. I did not get all reversals. Okay. Sometimes I feel like if I were to get all reversals, I would think that um, maybe I should reshuffle. Anyway, in their energy towards you is the King of Swords reverse, the Two of Swords reverse, and the Ace of Cups reverse. So the King of Swords reverse is my Narcissist card. <laughs> Uh, this is a person who can be manipulative and um, harshly honest. This is, might be how your person is feeling towards you. Um, maybe they feel that you're manipulative and maybe they feel like you're blocking them with the Two of Swords reverse. Um, they could also feel, though, that this is a release from the stalemate, like a release is coming. So a determination about where this relationship is going is coming. Uh, but they do feel like you're not really truly offering a new beginning in love because the Ace of Cups is reversed. They could feel that your love is conditional. And in your energy toward them, you have the Six of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Cups reversed, and the Three of Wands reversed. So you might feel like they're breadcrumbing you, and you may have many options and not know if you want to choose just them. And you may feel like you're in a period of waiting. Um, you're not so sure if this is your ship that's come in with the three of wands and you may want to continue waiting and keeping your options open in the outcome you have the page of swords reverse the lovers and the page of wands so the page of swords reverse is a card of sometimes it's called the stalker card it's a card of spying. So um, between now and the next uh, new moon, this is the energy that's coming. There could be a bit of spying energy, uh, but the lovers is a card of union. So uh, you and your person are likely to come together, which is exciting. And this is a card of mutual attraction. It can also indicate a choice. So it could be choosing to take things to the next level because you do have the Page of Wands, which is the, the full card of the Minor Arcana. It's this willingness to take a leap of faith and embark on a, an adventure. So that's exciting. We're going to get a little more clarification using this uh, novel that I have propped in the frame, Priestess of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. And um, I'm just going to open randomly to a passage. And um, we'll get some more clarity on your situation. Please think of a question. Capricorn. Still, the Saxon shore was far away. As the year turned toward harvest, my own time of testing was approaching quickly, and that gave me a more immediate reason for fear. 
Our final lessons were the responsibility of the high priestess. And now that Kanita was once more forced to acknowledge my existence, it was clear that she had not learned to love me any better than before. Sometimes it seemed to me that she blamed me for being alive and healthy when her own child lay cold in the ground. I knew that she hoped I would fail the tests that determined who was worthy to be called a priestess of Avalon. But would she betray her own vows and use her powers to make sure? I woke each morning with a knot in my belly and approached the garden beside the house of the high priestess where we had our lessons as if it were a battlefield. Okay, so hopefully that resonates in some way. I don't know if you're familiar with um, Marion Zimmer Bradley, but her books are incredible. Um, she wrote The Beautiful Mists of Avalon, which details the Arthurian legends from a female perspective. Um, this card that I have next is a card to represent your person. And I pulled it from my Celebrity Love Oracle deck. And the card that I got is Marlena Dietrich. And this is personally one of my um, idols. She uh, was a film star from the 1920s and uh, was German. And she was famously anti-Nazi. Um, and she would sing to the, the American troops. Um, so perhaps your person is um, a performer in some way. Uh, perhaps they're of German descent. Uh, perhaps they have blonde hair and blue eyes, pale skin. Uh, perhaps they're androgynous. Marlena was famously androgynous. She was one of the first um, celebrities to dress in men's clothing. And so um, she was also famously bisexual. Uh, the card itself says, dress for yourself, not for a lover or occasion. Once you have forgiven your lover, get them to reheat the sim. It's the friends you call after hours that matter. That right there. So we're gonna finish off the reading with a yes or no question to the universe. I'm going to use my magic eight ball. So please quiet your mind and we will ask. It is decidedly so. Anyway, Capricorn, thank you so much for being here. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful birthday month and a happy new year as well. If this reading resonates, please like, comment, share, subscribe. The artwork in the frame is for sale if interested. See info in the description box. And until the next reading, may the source be with you.